So what is the air gap? So here we got our clutch fully assembled um, to the flywheel. We got our pressure plate and the clutch and the clutch fingers. Like now, as the clutch becomes thinner, as it wears, it becomes thinner. These fingers, and because of the lever action, they actually start to raise out of the assembly. So the air gap or wear gap is actually to count for all that wear or the maximum wear. And in the case of this clutch, it's quarter of an inch. So when you set your cylinder, you need to make sure you've got enough to cope with the wear of the clutch plate. Let's talk quickly about why the air gap could be a problem if it's small or if it's large air gap or air gap is too small. These fingers won't be able to come out as the clutch wears. Thrust bearing will actually prevent the clutch from clamping and uh, engaging. So you're going to get clutch slippage and premature wear and your clutch will not last as long as it's supposed to. If the air gap is too big, you do have a risk of actually pushing the cylinder all the way out and releasing fluid all over your clutch. So you need to make sure you get that good balance and you, ha you set the air gap correctly.